Okay, hello again. Welcome to part two, I suppose, of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. This is Red Seacant, uh, my new name. So much to do, so little time. Take your time. Don't be afraid. So, we begin the game um, on this odd platform with Snow White. The door is still shut. Uh, now step forward. Can you do it? With a odd voice talking to us. Use the left analog stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to play the game. Yes, so this is Kingdom Hearts. Now the beginning of this game doesn't really make any sense. So, don't... <laughs> don't read too much into it. Just kind of bear with us for a little bit. Um, at this point... <laughs> Okay, so we have to pick a weapon here. This is kind of our specialty. Um, and this actually determines your stats throughout the game. Um, you can pick shield, or sword, or, ro or rod, or staff, whatever you want to call that. I think its official name is the Dream Rod. So, wh whatever, anyway. Oh yes, they do all seem to have this odd sort of Mickey Mouse insignia. That's really quite odd, isn't it? Okay, so um, you get varying stats depending on which one you choose. Uh, I've decided to pick the shield because we are playing on expert mode and having some sweet defense is really quite helpful. Yes, this is the power you seek. Your path is set. But wait, there's more. What will you give up in exchange? So yes, you pick one specialty and then one that you will give up. Um, so that's how that's going to work. Now if you pick the... Let's see, so we picked the shield. Uh, we're going to want to pick the staff, actually, or rod, um, is what I'm going to do. The difference is, if you pick the shield and then pick the sword, then you will have one extra... Sh yeah... No, if you pick to give up the sword, then you will have one less strength point and two extra uh, ability points. Um, so if you pick up the rod, then you have one extra strength and two less ability points. For me, that's more important. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry about it a bit. The power of the mystic, inner strength. Basically, so basically the sword is like strength, the defense I mean, the, the, the shield is like defense, and also the number of items you can carry in battle. And then the rod is sort of like magic and ability points, which we shall learn about later. Because <laughs> they don't really explain things um, until you've gotten through the game a bit. Yeah, who has any idea why were we just on a Snow White platform that just shattered and we're falling into darkness? Doesn't, doesn't really make any sense, but that's fine. Don't, uh... Don't let that bother you. Ugh, it's very nice to be back LPing. I didn't start my timer. Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll just stop like a couple minutes early. That should hopefully be okay. Yes, we're on a new Disney Princess platform, apparently. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Cinderella? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Press X to attack. Yeah, the controls of this game are act the controls in this game are actually kind of nifty. Um, they're a little weird, but kind of cool. That's just telling. Okay, the green bar is HP. The blue bars is magic, which we have yet to understand. And that's about it. So these are enemies that we have to fight. So you simply kind of jam on the X button, and there you go. Uh. You gain experience, and you level up, you know, typical kind of RPG stuff. There are items that you can collect and use to restore HP and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, I think I even already locked on to something. You lock up with R1, not that this really matters to you, the viewers, but, um, well, whatever. These little green things restore HP, and they drop from many enemies. Now, if you just jam on the X button, then your combos will actually be not as good, not as um, swift, as if you actually use proper timing. But it doesn't really matter all that much. Oh yes, so of course, a green 
portal opens up beneath our feet and drags us into it. Um, just, just another uh, occurrence at the beginning of this game, and then we end up on another platform. Uh, do we get a nice bird's eye view of this one? I can't tell what's on it. Oh, that's right, there's nothing on it. There's just a bunch of odd designs that don't make any sense. I guess these are hearts. The game is called Kingdom Hearts. I suppose that's interesting. Hey, there's a door. This is a field icon. Oh, that's what the question mark thing is. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so yeah, you use the uh, directional pad or right analog stick to um, select various items on this little command thing. So we want to choose examine. I can't open it. Hey look, chest. Why a chest appeared after approaching the door? Who knows? Yeah, so open is also taking up the space of that bottom command field. I really like this music, by the way. I think it's called Destity. <laughs> um, but I really like it. It's very epic. Yes, so these boxes, you can push them. I know, exciting, huh? And smash them, and items will fall out sometimes. That's a potion. And then we can use the items thing to use the potion in battle to restore health. Okay, this is so incredibly simple. This is actually kind of helpful. You can change targets by pressing L2. Okay, that's that's nice. Oops, crap. <laughs> you have to do a finishing move to finish the... to break the barrel. Or you could lift it up. I didn't show that. Sorry. But that's okay. Okay, so there's a door. It seems to have solidified a little bit. Perhaps we can open it now. Go on, Sora. Oh, he didn't even try. But it opened anyway! I suppose I should talk a little bit about <laughs> my absence from YouTube. Um, I don't know. Hopefully some of you were aware of my previous channel, Out of My Laboratory. Um, and I haven't been on YouTube. Well, I haven't... I have been on YouTube, actually, but I haven't been uploading videos in a few months. That's just because I had exams and... APs and stuff. It was huge pain. But that's all pretty much finished. So now we end up in this other strange environment. Who has any idea what's going on? Not me. Anyway, so we need to talk to these people. Um, so let's... The attack command has changed to talk. How are we doing on time? Oh, five minutes. Well, actually, it'll be more than five minutes. What, whatever. What do you want out of life? So you can select various options. Now this will actually be kind of significant. Uh, I will explain why this is significant in a minute. But I'm just going to pick the top choice because uh, I'm doing that intentionally because it has an actual effect on the game, believe it or not. So I'm most afraid of getting old. Sure. Not really. Getting old is sweet. All right, what's most, most important to you? Being number one? Is being number one such a big deal? Okay, you want to see rare sites? You're afraid of getting old? You want to be number one. Uh, there are various combinations of these that you can pick that will yield the same result. But the, but the easiest way is uh, the first choice, which we shall get, is if you pick all the top ones, and then all the middle ones, that's a different choice, and all the, all the bottom ones is a final choice. And those all yield different results, but there are only three different results. Now, this one says your adventure begins at dawn, as long as the sun is shining, your journey should be a pleasant one. Now, this actually affects how quickly you level up in the game. Um, if you pick this one, that means you'll level up easier at the beginning of the game, and then harder at the end of the game, after level 50. But all the, all the leveling systems are still graduated, but it's like, skewed a little bit, you know? Um, so if you pick the middle option, then that's consistent leveling throughout the game. Um, it's still graduated, but mostly it's, it won't be skewed. And then the final option is, uh, more difficult leveling up at the beginning of the game and then easier after level 50, though it is still graduated, of course. I decided to pick this one because, uh, I don't know, if I picked any of the others, it would be like, just mean more off-screen grinding, uh, so that's not really ideal. Anyway, I think that says something about some door. Oh, I, I mean, this doesn't make any sense. There, is that, um, uh, what's her name? Rose? Princess Rose? From Sleeping Beauty? Because that, that seems relevant. Okay, we'll walk into the light, press the start screen, or <laughs> start button to open up the start screen. Okay, we should probably stop in like a minute. That's fine, we can fight these guys. By the way, if you happen to die, which is what happens when you run out of HP, I don't think it really matters in the, at this part of the game. Um, it will matter after this part of the game, sort of. Not really, actually, but... Whatever. Uh, so yes, we will just fight these guys, which also doesn't really make any sense why we're doing that. But we are. 
and I think... Uh, oh, that's cool. That happened. If you attack at the same time... Oh, look, we just leveled up. Strength went up, so yeah. Uh, if you attack at, th attack at the same time as another enemy attacks, then you'll, like, deflect their blow or something. And that's how that works. Anyway, we're about out of time, conveniently, at a save point. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and see you guys in the next video. This is a save point. It's where you can save. I know. Cool, right? Uh, I suppose we can go ahead and... Oh, well... Oh, yeah, then some stairs appear. Okay, lovely. Alright, so we'll go ahead and save. And I have a few finals, but don't let that worry you. We'll just save at the top, number one. Since we did say we're afraid of being... Or no, it's most important to be number one. Wasn't that one of our answers? Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next part on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Thanks for watching.